Welcome to The Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. In a previous video, we talked about the core data roles. Among the core four, there's only one that's really entry level, and that's the data analyst role. In this lesson, let's dig a little deeper into that role. A while ago, I authored a post on Quora defining the data analyst role. I'll show that post while we discuss what the data analyst is and what one does. I'll also provide a link to that post so you can read it if you'd like. Now, you might be thinking, this is just my interpretation of what a data analyst is. Nope. I've been known to embellish, but this isn't one of those times. The definition comes mostly from Microsoft, and it's on par from what I've seen after 30 years in IT. The bullet points provide a solid high-level look at what you'll be doing. The first one is what you're going to be doing most of the time. You'll be creating dashboards and KPIs. The word KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. It's simply another way of displaying only the most relevant information. As a data analyst, you won't write any code other than SQL. You'll need to know SQL well because you'll be writing it a lot. Let's define three things you'll need for most data analyst roles in the real world. SQL. The first thing you're going to need is SQL. You'll need to know it well. If you take my Transact SQL course on LogicBot, you'll have a very solid foundation in SQL. Now, a word of caution here. Take the course doesn't mean watch it like a movie. You'll need to know what's in the course. A foundation in SQL is the single most important facet to your data career. The next thing you'll need to learn is a tool for building dashboards and reports. The two that come to mind are Power BI, a Microsoft product, and Tableau. LogicBot focuses on Power BI because it's widely used and it's a known certification. This brings us to the last thing you'll need. You'll need a certification. A certification is where you study for an exam, you go to a location and take a proctored exam, and you pass or fail. If you fail, you keep taking it until you pass it. I'll put a link down below in the comment section to my platform. If you don't want to use my approach, that's fine also. Just keep the big three in mind. You'll need to learn SQL. You'll need to learn a tool like Tableau or Power BI, and you'll need to get certified. Don't confuse a certificate of completion with certification. They aren't the same. You'll need to get a certification because that's what employers pay attention to. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.